Again, welcome to CS101, Introduction to Programming Using Python. Uh, this lab work cover chapter three of our course textbook, which is Decision Structures and Boolean Logic. So in these problems, we are going to solve two problems here, and we are going to use the relation operators and also logical operators. Again, this is unit three, part two, lab work. So our main objective again is to solve two problems. The first problem is age classifier. So here they say we should write a program that asks the user to enter a person's age. Now the program should display the message indicating whether the person is an infant, <coughs> a child, a teenager, or an adult. So here we have four conditions here, which means we can use the if, elif, elif, and else four conditions. And here they say we should follow the, the guidelines here. Now, if the person is one year old or less, then it's an infant. If the person is older than one year, but younger than 13, then it's a child. If the person is at least 13 years old, but less than 20, then it's a teenager. Now, if the person is at least 20 years old, then it's an adult. So the only input we will need in this program is only to get the age. So here we use the input function. Then we tell the user to enter the age. When the user enter the age, we are going to convert it to int because we are going to use relational operators to do the comparison. So we assign the, again, the age in int to a variable name age. Now we are going to determine if the age and the person enter is an infant or child, teenager or adult. Then we display the result. So we're going to display the result with a print operator. So first we enter the age. Now we say if the age is less than or equal to 10, then we should print infant. And if, if age is greater than one and age is less than 13. Now based on the condition, they say that if the age it is the person is older than one, but younger than 30. So it's like some interval here. So we are using the end operator. The end logic operator means both the left and the right conditions must be true. So that means the person age have to be greater than one and also less than 30. Now we also have the all operator. All operator means if the person age is greater than one, but it's not less than 13, it's still, we're going to print it. So all means only one condition have to be true. Here is very important. We are using N because the person age have to be greater than one, but less than 13. Now, next we say L if, if the age is greater than 13 and age is less than 20, then we print a teenager. Else we print adult. Now, since we have four conditions, uh, and this is age from zero all the way to, again, 19. So we know that the last option, we don't need to write the age that if uh, the age is greater than or equal to 20 print adult, we don't need to because that will be the default. If any of these three conditions are false, then the last one automatically should be true unless we enter a negative value for age. So that would be the conclusion for our first question. Now let's look at the second question. The second question is mass and weight. Here they say scientists measure an object's mass in kilograms and also its weight in newtons. If you know the amount of mass of an object in kilograms, then we can calculate its weight in newtons with the following formula. So weight in newtons will equal to the mass in kilogram times 9.8. Now the question here is so we should write a program that asks the user to enter an object mass. Then we calculate its weight. The formula is given to us. So if we get an input of mass, the weight will be mass times 9.8. But here they said, if the object weights more than 500 newtons, then we need to display a message indicating that it's too heavy. If the object weights less than 100 newtons, then we display a message indicating that it's too light. So this is the area that we are covering this chapter three. 
in chapter two, we cover the input, process, and output. And that's what we are going to do. We're going to ask the user to enter the mass. We, are, we can change it to float or int. Then we can be able to calculate the weight. Now we are going to check using our selection statement if the weight is greater than 500 newtons, newtons, then we're going to say that it's too heavy. If it's less, uh, if it's less than 100, then we are going to say that it's too light. So let's start the program. The first thing we do here, we have some three constant variable, or we call it global constant variable. Uh, we know the mass multiplier in the formula is 9.8, so we are going to store it in a constant variable mass multiplier. Now, too heavy means 500 based on the condition, and too light means it's 100 newtons. That's if the weight is 100 newtons, too light, 500 newtons, too heavy. Now, we need two local variables. We are going to ask the user to enter the mass, so we're going to store it in a variable named mass. Then we can find the weight, and we are going to store the weight in a variable named weight. Then from there, we are going to compare our condition with if weight is equal to too heavy or greater, etc. So let's move to the next step. So next step, we're going to get the input now. So we get the input of the mass using the input function. We tell the user to enter the object mass in kilogram. We convert it to float because we are going to use relational operators to compare the mass. Uh, I mean, first of all, we're going to find the weight, then we compare. So why are we changing it to float? Because we're going to use multiplication sign here. So mass times 9.8, which is the mass multiplier, uh, the constant variable, we assign the 9.8 to it. So we can use mass multiplier instead of writing 9.8. Again, it's up to me. I may decide not to use a constant variable and I will use the actual value 9.8. But the reason why we use constant variable, let's say if this constant variable changes and we have used the constant variable maybe 500 times or 100 different locations, if the value change, then we have to change it in all the locations. But if we assign a constant value, then all I need to do, if I the 9.8 change, let's say to 20, I will just come here and change it to 20 since I'm using the variable. So if I use the mass multiplier 100 times, automatically all of them will change at the same time. Okay, so now we find the weight, which is input process. We're going to display our result now. By here, we said we print the object weight, which is what we look for in Newtons. Now we are going to check if the weight is greater than too heavy, which is if it's greater than 500, then we'll say that the object is too heavy. It weighs more than too heavy, which is 500. And if, if the weight is less than too, too light, which is 100, then we say the object is too light. It's less than, again, 100. So again, that will be the conclusion for these lectures. And again, see you in the next lectures. Thank you.